I became interested in regenerative medicine probably about 10, 12 years ago because I saw it as a viable option to treat very common problems such as osteoarthritis or chronic overuse problems that involve tendons such as uh, people will get from playing tennis, their Achilles tendon, um, their plantar fascia, and what these treatments do that we didn't have an option for prior to that is actually help these tendons heal. The earlier you treat a problem, the sooner you catch it, the more likelihood there's going to be a successful outcome. Regenerative medicine involves using orthobiologics, which generally involves platelet-rich plasma, which means we take platelets from the circulation, and also using stem cells, which can be obtained from the bone marrow or from the fat cells in the body. And we use those treatments to help either arrest an osteoarthritic process, help heal joints that have been injured, help heal tendons get healthy again. These procedures have been shown to be extremely safe. We're using the patient's own tissue. This is a non-drug treatment. When I was a child, I had a serious um, hip injury, which required me to be on crutches for four years. And um, the doctors told me at that time that I would for sure get arthritis as I aged. Well, their predictions did come true, and I did um, develop arthritis in my early 40s. It got to the point where I was not, I wasn't able to sleep at night, I wasn't able to walk any distance, even down our driveway to get the mail. I was in intense pain. I am truly a success. I, uh, here I am two years and I have no pain. I take no prescription medication. I am thrilled with me being able to live my life again. Just normal activities, which a lot of people take for granted. And um, when you're in such pain and you can't do that kind of stuff, this is like a hallelujah moment. Let's put it this way, I'm a total caregiver for my wife and I have to be in good physical shape in order to take care of her. And I was getting to the point where I thought I was gonna have to get some help. Right now, I'm, I'm doing very well, I can't complain. I couldn't go up and down steps before, I was using a cane before, and now I'm not. I have no pain in my knees or my shoulder anymore. I'm an endurance athlete, uh, and for about 18, the last 18 months, I've noticed a deterioration of, um, on my left knee. Uh, some inflammation, some uh, pain. I could see a, a, a falling off of my capability of my running. Uh, little things like up and down stairs, getting out, out of a chair, little signals, all of those were being compromised by the fact that I was getting inflammation in, in my knee and that was you know, deteriorating my quality of life. I've been extremely pleased with the outcome. I was extremely pleased with the procedure and, and basically it matched all of my expectations. And, and I'm just excited about the, the opportunities here and what it's opening up and the ability to, to continue to uh, pursue what my dream is. I, I'm a handball player and that takes on, a, there's, you know, it's a pretty brutal sport, particularly as you get older. Not only handball, it, it, it was something where I really couldn't lift, I couldn't really reach up into the cabinets anymore. Um, I was saying I was aware of it constantly, so it was at a point where I, I had to do something. It, if this doesn't work, no harm, no foul. You, you know, you, okay, then what, what's plan B? If you go to plan B of a replacement or something, you can't say, you know, hey, this isn't working real well, what do you want to do now? There's nothing to do. So I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do it as a first step. It just makes too much sense to me. One of the things that we do here to determine if someone is a good candidate for a Regenix procedure is we have a pretty thorough screening process. In other words, when patients call in wanting this procedure done, Generally what we do is we have them forward their medical records to us and we assimilate that information to determine if they're a candidate. And uh, once all that information is sent here to Beacon, they spend about 30 to 45 minutes on the phone with our Regenix nurse. Then the patient comes in here to see us at Beacon and they spend another 30, 45 minutes in the office with us where I talk to them directly about their medical history. Very importantly, we do a physical examination and then go over the patient's previous imaging, operative records, and using the 17,000 patient database that we have, say based on what we know right now, this is what we think your chances are of having a successful treatment. Our job as physicians here or anywhere is to help people. And when you've been able to help somebody, whether it's getting up and down stairs to do their laundry, helping a spouse get out of a wheelchair, 
win a national handball tournament, win a tennis tournament, that's where we come to work every day. That's what we want to do is we want to help people get better and we take an oath when we graduate medical school, do no harm. And one of, these, one of the nice things about these treatments is they're non-drug treatments, they're safe and they're very effective. Go to the Regenix website and read it. It's very extensive, it'll tell you just about everything you need to know. If you got a problem and, and, and you think that stem cell therapy would work, by all means have it done. Call Dr. Stein at Beacon and he'll help you. Thank you Beacon for offering this life giving procedure of Regenix right here in Cincinnati. And more than anything, thank you, Dr. Stein, for giving me the quality of my life back.